Hello everyone, it's Jeanette Crafty Dork here with the second, third, I think third because I did the, yep, of the um, Wizard of Oz. I'll just flip through and show you, I did the other, so this is the one we did together, very plain, but I really do like it. I just, I like to put things in the journal that people can add to and get your, your juices running. So there's the second one. And these, some of them I've just popped. This one's on the blue. Again, same as that first one. Then I did, and I've saved all these little bottom bits. I think I've got something more in mind for them. And there's this one, I put it on upside down, but that's fine. We're going to have a, and this I put on a cream cardstock, like the, a bit like the basil cardstocks. So that one I'm thinking I'll put at the bottom of the page and have it a, a flip down. There's that one, then I take this little one. I won't take them all out, this was on cream cardstock again. Yeah. And then this little one. And I've got that there. Okay, so they are done. And all ready to pop into a couple of journals. Now, the next thing that I wanted to do is show you um, not that, bit, that I've got a couple of pieces of ephemera that are book pages from the kit. And what I'm going to do is ink around the edges and stitch. I might stitch on first, then glue three sides ready for a tuck. So there's that one, that one. That one and that one. So they're all ready to go as well. So we're, we're getting along. Um, the first little piece of ephemera that I'm going to show you is this little one. No, that's not working, is it? Oh, I don't know. Yep. So there we go. Now, it's in the, the little coin um, folders. I've got some more coming too to, to do a different type. And I've also, um, I ordered the ones that Tracy did with the, the little circles. Um, there was a hundred in the, in the kit. And um, you can pop your little pieces of ephemera in there and, and play. So I've got some of those to play with. Not, not for this journal, but um, for another, another journal. Um, so we'll do this little one and very very simple all I did was stamp on the outside now I've done that um, ahead of time because if you don't let it dry enough it will rub off I learnt that the hard way here a little while ago and I didn't do the back of that one I have to go back so basically I folded it in half and inked the outside. Now I need to what are you doing there? It's getting awfully dark in here at the moment. I can't wait to get my uh, new lighting. Um, so I've just around the edges just away from the um, the edge a bit and I think I've gone a bit close there and there yeah that's okay and then I've just popped these are little um, from Mrs. Cogs um, some of the ephemera from her kits and I'm just going to pop that on there so that I've got most of the there we go, that's the part I want. 
Um, so. And then I'll just snip that bit off. This one's not quite sticking down as it should. I didn't, didn't stick it down hard, push it down hard enough. Okay, so that's that one. And then I want this one on the other side. So I'll do the same. And we'll get as much as we can of that part. So just um, popping that in there. And then I'm going to cut that piece off. And I just pop the glue in here. I'll just put a peat bit on these edges too, just to make double sure that I've got it all. The centre should be fine because of. Okay. Now, what I did. <laughs> Have a bit of a giggle probably I didn't want them coming undone so I got these I got them from office works years ago and they're magnetic little magnetic clamps and I just put them all on the edges like so So that I could get excessive hay. There you go. So that's what I did. Held it down. And then I went on and did something else. But then I just put a eyelet in the corner and then a bulb pin. And I'll probably pop um We've got the Tin Man somewhere here. The scarecrow for that one. And we've got the yep, Tin Man Huntsman, one of these, whatever it's called there. And I'm just going to hang one of those. Off there. Like that and that will just go either into a pocket or we'll work it out as we go along so that should be dry now I just don't want them coming undone and I'll probably go back and pop mm, they're pretty good and I've got one of these up by so Ikea baskets that you you know go along on the like a trolley thing and I just stick those onto the side of that and then they're there when I when I need them so oh where did me hmm right so now I've got to get some more out Oh well, plenty more where they came from. I'll find them later, eh? Hey? So we've got these. And I might pop on this one. 
Don't be mad at here. It's silver, but then I'll just have to do. I have um, bought some of the patina um, colours and um, hope to. Hang on, it's going on the wrong side. Um, hope to cover colour some of my um, silver charms and things. So when I do that, that will be in the helpful hints. Okay, so there's those two little ones. So I think they're really cute. They very simple, very easy, and um, yeah. Whoops. There we go. And there's another one. So just a couple of little um, pieces of ephemera. So I have one for each signature. Next is. Um, an envelope and I've used um, it's a 7x5 yep 7x5 envelope now I've done a lot of the stuff so I'll I'll talk you through what we've done I've left a bit but I don't want to keep you for hours on end so so basically I did um, some stenciling front and back okay. So it's all stenciled. Then I stitched around the envelope across there and then down the middle. So now we have two little pockets. Okay, so we've got the pockets in there. And then the front, I've just got some Hessian. I'm not sure where I got this, but it's got really, it's really frayed beautifully. And um, when I got it, I thought it was going to be great. But I, do you think I can remember where it came from? nope so i'm just going to nip that off but whoops no i'm not just there's the other scissors um because that's holding the bottom down and it's not steep stuck i'm just going to pop a bead of glue on the top of that just to keep those stitches together Okay, so this is, I looked at all the cards that I had um, where are they? in this little pile. Um, I've cut them down from the big ones down through to real tiny ones in this, um, from Mrs. Cogs this is. And there's this one, and I thought, no, that's too small. And then that one, oh, he mm, looks too sad. And that was a bit small as well. And then this book, this one. And I thought, no, I'm going with the big one. So um, it's hopefully will fit um, in the front cover. Now, like, I, like you know, I'm going to have to make that. But this will actually be on the front cover. And it will be probably bigger than that. Um, so it will fit like that onto the front cover and then I will whatever I cover the inside with that will be covered over and it will flip out okay so that's how we're going to to do it but I wanted to get this done um, now and what I've done I've got some uh, index cards which are the smaller size and they are uh, five by three and I've just cut off to um, fit them in my pocket. I decided to go with the hessian um, to tie in the front and the back and I've just got little cards which are like book pages that I'm going to pop on the front and all I did was ink around the edges so you don't have to go over the top with your 
ephemera. I'm, when we get through, I'm going to do some um, pockets and things that might be a little bit more involved. But, I, you know, they don't have to be. They, you know, honestly, you can just um, do simple. And um, it's just as effective. Um, and I find, too, that when you go through and you write in your journals, you might want to, Oops, a daisy. You might want to um, put something else on a page, and if it's too elaborate with the um, decorating, you're not going to have any room for your little bits and pieces and the um, your journaling. So now I'm just going to put another little bit of blue. Oh, I know why it's dark. I put my other light inside last night when I was. I was embroidering um, Mara's, I did her the white jumper and she wants a unicorn on it, so I'm embroidering a unicorn on it for her. And I was doing that last night <clears throat> and I needed the light. Okay, so I've stitched around this and um, I've pulled my threads through and stuck them down so that they uh, won't come undone. And then I'm just going to glue and you could use your whatever you like. I'm just using this because I've got it in my hand. I think the other one I, I use with my um, um, glitter glue, art glitter. And I'm just going to pop that under the little fluff there. Just get... that glue came out so and that will just tuck in under there we'll just pop that under two sides okay so it's still got plenty of room to swing and I'm just going to add now I thought about popping these on a bit of darker cardstock and um, then I thought no I'll, because the front page this is going to be the front page so that's going to be on the cover and then it will flip open like that so we'll have something fairly simple but there might be a the page that's covering it might be a little bit brighter. I've had a look through some of my scrapbooking pieces and, oh my God, I had to laugh. Well, it, it's a bit sad, actually. I did this video, I've now deleted it in disgust, um, telling you and showing you Mara's little book on um, The Wizard of Oz wasn't the Wizard of Oz it was Alice in Wonderland and I thought you goose Jeanette you are a goose and all the way through I'm talking about the Wizard of Oz so where was my head when I did that yesterday I ask you so when I do her Wizard of her um, Alice in Wonderland just have a sip of tea When I do the, the Alice in Wonderland journal, I'll actually show you what I was, um, what I did um, for her. And um, it's uh, something that, you know, when I think she's old enough to appreciate it and look after it, she'll get it. Poor little flea, I got a phone call last night from Joanne. Mum, Mara's burned her bum on the heater. I thought, oh my God. She was standing by the heater. they just had a bath. And um, Ma, uh, Joe said, you know, you better get away from there because you're a little bit close and you might burn yourself. Well, with that, she bent forward to, to move. And she's got two beautiful little red marks where the, the bar, you know, the little metal bars that go down the front of the gas heaters. Got a fair on the bum. So round went Nanny. I had some burn aid in my um, um, 
in the caravan actually that we I popped in, bought and put in there to take away with us just in case. And luckily the van was back from the um, from when we got it repaired. So we've patched her bot up. And it's not it's not um, too bad, so that's good. She'll be she will be fine. Excuse me there, Reggie. Just get rid of that little bit of glue that's on there. I think we can really get there too. So that's, whoops, I'm using my, that's not a good place for it, I might have to move that. So that's our little pocket for inside um, the front cover. Okay, the next little bits that I'm doing, so we've done the, um, the pocket for the inside, we've done the Two little pieces here for in there we've done the um, CDs pockets now I need to do another couple of pockets I might as well pop that in there as well and that can go in my book no I won't I'll just sit there for a minute um, now I've got these pieces of ephemera that came with um, one of the kits um, and I think I might pop that in one of the other journals um, and um, keep so we've got that a couple of there's some journaling cards and things I'll, I think I will I'll leave that for another journal um, and that's an envelope there as well. So we'll just pop those there. And we will do... Perhaps we'll do... Let me just see the time first. Okay. Oh, look, we're 20 minutes. So um, in the next video, I will do um, a couple of journaling cards and pockets to go in um, the journal. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy crafting and bye for now.